So good evening and thank everyone for joining us on our virtual platform on tonight. Uh, for those that's going to be listening to the recap, I want to thank you in advance. Uh, tonight, we're going to give a sneak preview. Uh, if you've never heard about the Speak Life Tour, what is the Speak Life Tour? What are we doing now? And what are we about to do in the future? And specifically what we're about to do in September uh, on Saturday, September 28th, 2024. So I'm going to go over our media kit. This is something that was sent out. Um, but also I would encourage everyone to go to our website, speaklifetour.org. On our website, you'll find videos. Uh, we have a documentary video from our youth speaking business owners that partner with us. They, they spoke about what the experience is like. You have our young people speaking, but parents are talking. I always think it's important for you to hear not only just my voice, but other voices that have participated with the Speak Life Tour so you can kind of get a take on their sentiment of the organization. So Speak Life Tour is under the umbrella of our 501c3 nonprofit organization. So our umbrella organization is House of New Beginnings Incorporated, which started here in the Maryland area, specifically Baltimore. Um, and that got launched in 2002. Speak Life Tour is one of the programs under that that got launched in 2013 in the Coldstream Homestead Montebello Community Development Corporation, which is again in Baltimore City. We officially launched a tour on January 9th of 2014 at the Terra Cafe, which is a local business here in the Baltimore area. The owner of that establishment is super supportive of civic in endeavors um, and the like. So that's why we launched it there. Now, as we continue to build and continue to grow, uh, we're now in our, our 11th year of the Speak Life Tour. It is a national tour. We've done shows in Los Angeles, California, Florida. Of course, the DMV, this is our backyard. We, saw, we also have done shows in Atlanta, Charlotte, North Carolina, Philadelphia, New York. Um, and we've done events uh, at Morgan State University, Temple uh, University, which is in PA, Old Dominion University, which is, of course, in Virginia, and then California State University, and then Howard University, which is in DC. So we've, we've had a lot of things that we've done over the years. However, it's still more growth to take place. It's still more community impact that we desire to take place. And to learn more about us on our social media platforms, you can go to Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, as well as LinkedIn, and it's all under Speak Life Tour. So on all the platforms, it's all the same thing, Speak Life Tour. And then our public relations email is pr at speaklifetour.org for any emails that you would like to send to us. So our base location is here, still in the Baltimore area. We still have great partnership with the Coldstream Homestead Montebello community that opened their doors and allowed us to get started years ago. So what is Speak Life to the Nations? This is what I sent an email out about. Some of you may have received a DM on social media. Speak Life to the Nations is an initiative led by the Speak Life Tour to bring together community leaders from different parts of the world. The project aims to promote unity and understanding among people from diverse backgrounds. It was launched in 2020. Now keep in mind, Speak Life Tour started in 2013, but Speak Life to the Nations was another byproduct of that entity in 2020. It was a year marked by the global pandemic. Keep in mind that year we were actually supposed to do a live concert. Well, because of the pandemic, we wasn't able to do that. So we had to really think fast on our feet and say, how can we still bring people together, even though we couldn't physically have our concert? So we said, well, you know what we're going to do? It's not only U.S. that's impacted. Everyone's been impacted globally. So we were like, we're going to do something called Speak Life to the Nations. And so it was to address the need for solidarity and collaboration across cultural barriers that often divide us. And also you can see previous uh, Speak Life to the Nations on our Facebook page because we recorded it. Um, we've had individuals that represented Sierra Leone. We had individuals from London that was on um, our Speak Life to the Nations. We did it in 2020 and we did it in 2021. All of our videos and all of the individuals that were speaking. In, in fact, Queen Afi, who's on this platform tonight, she participated in that. And so if you want to see any of our old footage from the previous Speak Life to the Nations, if you go to our Facebook page on, uh, again, that Speak Life tour, you can see all of our previous footage and all the individuals that participated, not only in the States, but also globally. And so through Speak Life to the Nations, community leaders have the opportunity to connect with each 
uh, other individuals share ideas and work towards a common goal, right? And one of the things that we want to focus on is that the platform serves as a virtual hub for individuals to come together and make positive impact in their communities. By fostering unity and cooperation on a global scale, this project aims to create a more inclusive and harmonious world for all. Speak Life to the Nations will take place on Saturday, September 28th at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time virtually. Participants will be given the digital link. So some of the other individuals, um, just to share with you who's going to be returning, the Youth in Power organization from the London area, they reached back out to me. They want to return and be a part of what we're doing in September. I also have um, a gentleman that's uh, from the Ivory Coast. Um, he's actually building a school and he's going to participate and share with everyone about what he's doing um, back in his home country. He lives in Atlanta. However, he's building a school back um, back in the Ivory Coast. Then we have Adama who leads up an organization called Impact Sierra Leone. She was with us before when we did it and she's going to be with us again. And she actually had individuals from the village. She teaches agricultural um, and, and, and farming and, and allows them to help produce their own vegetation and food. So she's going to return. And we have other individuals from other international communities that's going to be with us as well. And so one of the, the beautiful thing about each person, not only represented on the platform tonight, but where we're going in the fall for September 28th, every market will have an opportunity to share. If you represent a nonprofit organization, if you represent your for-profit business, it's about coming together and sharing. Um, so some people are going to be speaking from a motivational standpoint. I also have performing artists that's going to be with us from poetry to singing. Um, we actually have Miss Angie that just joined us on the line. She has an organization, beautiful organization, I've known them for 10 years called Ricochet. And um, and she'll, she can share more about that um, if she wants to when we open up the line. Um, but they focus on dancing to make a difference in the hearts and minds of our community. And so we have a diverse group of people that's going to be with us in the fall. We do have a clothing line. Um, join the movement is what we say. SLT, S, SLT obviously stands for a Speak Life Tour. HTS is for Hit the Streets. We want to hit the streets in the fall as we continue to uh, make waves in the community through the power of our voice, through the power of our words, the words that are coming out of our mouth. But I wanna also take back to take you back to 2013 really quick. So I didn't wake up one day saying, hey, I'm gonna do this tour. What happened was a lot of the youth in my mentor program, they came to me and said, Miss Kat, we need our voices heard. And at that time, you know, we was just in the community center. We was having our youth groups and meetups. And they said, but Miss Kat, there's no youth uh open mic for us that's that's under you know under 18 it doesn't exist and i was like well you're right it doesn't exist so i reached out to the leaders of that community they allowed us to use a community space and that's how it was born because the youth identified and said look there's a void of something that we need and that's why it's always important to listen to the youth they know what they need and i said okay well we're gonna create this open mic at that time i had never done an open mic i had never put together a tour um, I'll never forget the very first day. I wish I had that throwback picture, but I'll email it out. We was in the room. It was had like 80 young people in the room. And, it, and, and, you know, some thought something was going to happen. You bring that many young people together. Not one negative thing happened. Why? Because their mindset was, we want, they wanted to come together. And, and the beautiful thing about that night is they, they, they all started to speak life to each other. So speak life tour is particularly with the youth component side of things is youth speaking life to other youth. It's not just, you know, all the adults getting on the mic and we speaking to them, they speak to each other. And um, I think that's the beautiful thing about the heartbeat of the Speak Life Tour. So just a little bit about me. Um, I went to Morgan State University. My major was in political science. My background is in program development, project management, strategic planning. I do have a, a for-profit business, Strategic Collaboration Network. Um, one of my niche areas, although, is to work with 501c3 nonprofits. I've been doing that since 2007. Um, one of my books that I wrote um, was Community Engagement from Concept to Implementation, Eight Steps to Unlocking Your Creative Ideas. That book takes a person through a journey on how to take all of the ideas they have in their mind, how to create a, a, a coherent plan for execution. 
And so that's my passion. I've been doing that again for some time now. Um, if you want to learn more about me, you can go to my Instagram page, C Speaks Official. You can send me an email a direct to me, ct at .com, as well as you can check out my website um, for other uh, testimonials of other individuals that I've worked with. And so the tour is a catalyst to train entrepreneurs, <clears throat> excuse me, and leaders through the arts. I believe art it's universal. It's a universal language, whether it's performing arts, whether it's visual art, whether it's digital art, it, 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 it brings together and it takes away the digital divide among cultures, among people, among different generations, right? Um, and so it's a catalyst. And so one of the things we did, and we was very adamant about it when we kicked off the Speak Life Tour and with a lot of the youth and young adults that we were working with, it wasn't just only about performing on the stage. In the background, we was teaching them about business etiquette business skills, you know, it's not just about getting on a stage and performing. What do you do off the stage, right? As far as really putting your business plan together and being polished. And so a lot of these photos that you see, we've done photo shoots. I'm really trying to further spread the message of Speak Life. You see the microphone that this is our actual logo. And so the purpose of the microphone in our logo is that we want every time somebody see this logo to make sure you magnify your voice, open your voice and speak, speak life. I remember one time I was walking down the street and I had one of my Speak Life t-shirt on and it was a guy that had stopped me and he had said, are you going to speak life to me? I tell you, I'll never forget that day because even though it's just a simple logo with a microphone and then he went on to say, you know, basically he was dealing with different things in his life. So you never know just by even wearing a Speak Life shirt. So whoever might even be listening to the replay, you may not be a speaker or you may not want to be on the front line, but if you want to rep the t-shirt, you never know. Somebody may see that and they may get encouraged just by that one small, small message of speak life. I'll never forget that day when he stopped me and said, are you going to speak life to me? And we was able to then enter into a, a conversation. So the power of our words is important. This is a picture. And the reason why I added pictures, I wanted y'all to kind of take you through a timeline of what we've done over the years. So this was one of our galas that we did at the Aloft Hotel um, by BWI here in the Maryland area. So one of the things we always are mindful of is to recognize our youth and young adults for the accomplishments that they uh, endure throughout the, the tour year, right? So literally a lot of our youth, they're not youth anymore, now they're young adults. They've gone on, uh, some continued in the arts, some started their own professional businesses, um, but they're all doing something positive in the community. And so uh, I'll never forget, I about maybe about a month ago, I had got an inbox from one of the fathers whose daughter was a part of the tour. And he started sending me pictures as to where his daughter is now. And he said, I won't forget those beginning days at the community center. His daughter is playing a guitar for some lead renowned artist. Um, I, I'm not good with names, so it's not coming to me right now. But he started to show me pictures. And I'm like, wow, she's she's really evolved. And um, so that does my heart glad. I think the testament to any organization, and I just want to encourage all the leaders on the line, even though you, you pour into people, the testament of what you've done is that someone excelled even farther than where you are, right? So that is that is why we build our organizations. That's why we do what we do in our communities so people can continue to excel forward. <clears throat> so Speak Life Tour, again, we started right in the Baltimore community. Um, it is... It is by far, I think the the I think the greatest thing that has ever been implemented um, on a grassroots level, coupled with so many other organizations that we partner with. Again, we've been partnering with the Ricochet family um, for for many years now. Uh, for about ten years, they just had their tenth year anniversary, um, and it's through the collaboration uh, that allowed our organization to continue to go forward. So we have been highlighted in the news, um, WBAL TV eleven news here in Baltimore. Um, as well as it was an article written about us in the Baltimore Times. Um, and all these articles you can take a look at. Now, this was way back in the day when I had my Afro, y'all. This was before I um I had my locks. So y'all know this is a throwback picture. And that's one of the young men who was a visual artist. His work, oh my gosh, is phenomenal. I still have one of his art pieces hanging in my home right now. The young lady that you see to the far left, she's been on a reality show. She's done so many things. She's still moving forward with her artistry. The young man at the time, he was a teenager. He Now he's out of college and we're still all connected. And so this was an article excerpt from the examiner. Um, you know, just looking at all the things that we've been able to do over the years 
this was one uh a picture another throwback picture y'all that's how i know y'all noticed oh because i got my afro puff that's when i was rocking that back in the day i had did an interview at fox uh 45 sharing about um speak life i wanted to do our throwback pictures just to show you that we've been doing this for some time you know it's not something we just uh started but it's 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 been around for a minute and um, again, all of the contact information, my telephone number is here, 443-799-6529, email, website, uh, social media handles, Facebook, IG, and LinkedIn. So I shared a little bit about where we came from, the passion, the mission of, of why we got started. I, I, I dripped a little bit about September 28th. I'll talk a little bit more now about that. Um, September 28th for individuals that want to be a part of the speaking platform or the performance side will each have 15 minutes to share. If you represent, once again, a nonprofit organization or your for-profit business, um, we definitely want you to be able to plug that information. What we're doing is we're creating digital banners. So the whole experience is going to be from 12 noon to 6 p.m. Not saying that you have to stay on that whole time. But if you send me your digital content, we'll have a digital wall, just like if it was if it was a live event and you'll be passing by vendors and things of that nature. Well, we'll have a digital wall where your business information, no matter what time people pop in and out of the live feed, they'll still be able to see your information. So everyone will be on a rotation uh, in terms of when your 15 minute time slot is. Uh, again, you don't have to stay for the whole time. Just come in when you're doing yours. Or if you want to come in a little bit before, actually what I do suggest, and I think this is what made it work well the last time, before your time segment, at least get on before the previous, while the last two people. So when when it's your turn, you just flow right into it. Um, and then also you're able to piggyback on, you know, uh, what the previous person was saying. So it's a good flow. One of the things that uh, we're going to be doing in 2025, the reason why September 28th is so important is because it's going to set the precedence for what we're going to be doing in 2025. So in 2025, we're going to have quarterly SLT community gatherings. We want to adopt four causes that we can get behind and help raise capital. And it doesn't all, all the organizations does not have to be in the Maryland area. Our base here is here, obviously in Maryland, because we're, we're in, I'm, I'm in the Maryland area. However, the all four causes doesn't have to be in the Maryland area. Um, and so we want to identify those four organizations that want to partner with us for 2025 in a strategic way. 